What's up guys and welcome back to The Tenant. We're back here and uh, we're, we're glowing up, all right? So last episode we had a tiny little like 25 square foot tree house. This episode we are gonna be buying our biggest house yet. This is, uh, I, I don't really know my, my architecture themes here. I actually, at one point when I was a lot younger, I wanted to be an architect. This is kind of gothic Victorian maybe it's probably pretty far from accurate but um it's it's our biggest one yet it was built in 03 it's just got some some really cool almost you know castle medieval style vibes so uh, i think we're gonna make this one really really moody i'm excited for it so it's gonna be a 516 thousand dollar purchase price let's just go ahead and buy it and uh, it looks like it's actually in pretty good shape we've got uh you know walls up we've got doors we don't have any messes to clean up or anything like that wow look at this dude we've got like apple trees lining the entire thing we've got picnic tables back here even have some pavers down been talking about how i wanted that to be a thing and it looks like it's actually been done so let's see you're gonna walk in this is kind of like your opening foyer area bedroom bathroom maybe bedroom bedroom is this gonna be a three one we're gonna have some sort of a dining hall here Kind of a kitchen-ish area. It's kind of a, a, a bit of a weird setup. We're gonna change this up. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose one of the uh, one of the bedrooms, but it's it's gonna be awesome. I'm actually I'm wondering if we just straight up take out this entire section in here. I'm thinking maybe delete these as well here. Let's build a, a wall so then it's kind of centered as you walk in. I think I'm actually I'm gonna I'm gonna make this a uh, a, a prison for all the enemies that we've we've captured do we oh yeah look at this the spaghetti string tour <laughs> this is great what's the the difference between that and the asparagus let me see what we've got going on they look pretty similar so i'm gonna say let's go with the spaghetti all the way across so this these are gonna be our holding cells for the uh the enemies of the state got an issue with one of our tenants i'm gonna go ahead and send a pro in looks good there but uh, all right so we uh, you know obviously we've, we've got a, a bedroom here we've got a bedroom here i think i want to have a wrap around you kitchen right here and then we're gonna have the giant tables set across here i don't I don't know what I'm going with. We're, we're just going to have fun with this. And you know what we do? We, we force our prisoners to take care of our HVAC system. So we're, we're going to move that and our electrical into the, the prison. Gray concrete would be would be pretty good there. So we've got that. And then on the floor, we're going to go with, with some just cement. You're, you're not getting any comfort in here. Now, originally, I was thinking we were going to go with, you know, a, a modern house. Something you would live in, but with a, a bit of a more moody kind of medieval twist. Now, I'm thinking we actually try... To, to, you know, rebuild like a, a castle in a sense. So we're going to have two different sleeping quarters here, one on each side. We've got our heart doors from, from the last episode. Those look pretty fitting, maybe without the heart, but other than that, they look fitting. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking where we're going with this. So I'm thinking, what, what kind of stuff would they have on the walls? We've got the, the, you know, interesting design wood floor. I'm trying to think kind of like a... I want to put like, ooh, something like this. The diamond red, yes, that, that looks pretty good right there. We actually might want to throw that throughout the house because it's just very deep, dark, and moody. Do we have any other ones? If there's like a dark blue or something, the, oh, polka dots are, are not going to happen. I'm just trying to think of like, you know, banners and, and family colors and stuff like that. I guess we're, we're going to have the, the red going on. Let's take a look at some of the furniture we have available. Definitely the secondhand mattress looks very disheveled. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna set up, you know, our, our sleeping barracks here. I'm thinking three along each side, and then we're gonna repeat the same thing over on the other end as well. Are there any other? I mean, I'm I'm you know, medieval people wouldn't have posters. They'd maybe have, you know, rugs underneath the beds could be kind of cool. We've got reds and greens. I don't want to get too Christmassy in here. Uh, but it, it, it could work. Ooh, I kind of like, I kind of like that green there. We're going to go with, with those greens. So we're going to throw these under each of the, uh, of the beds. I guess we could go one, one vertical, one horizontal just to be able to switch things up a bit. Obviously they aren't going to have record players. They aren't going to have clocks. I guess they could have, you know, vases in each room. Just trying to add anything that we can. I mean, these vases look nice, kind of a yellow and, and red, maybe tying in some more of the family colors. But uh, trying to find anything that we could potentially have, you know, obviously plants would work. Sand glass poster. I mean, this this looks kind of cool. I like this. So we could we could throw these on each side of the doors. Kind of again fits with the uh, 
the, the you know, family colors. I'm thinking some more through here. Maybe lined up with the windows or maybe something like that. Yeah, that, that looks that looks pretty good there. I mean, they, they could potentially have a, a, you know, thing mounted there. Uh, some sort of a, you know, animal that they've they've poached. All right, so we, we've got our sleeping quarters down. Now over here, we don't have a bathroom yet. I'm thinking we probably set the bathroom up right here. I don't think they had plumbing or anything anything fancy out here. So what we're gonna do is we are just gonna put a dirt floor. I wish there was a, a better a better dirt. Uh, I guess that looks like a little bit a little bit more like dirt. So we're gonna have a dirt floor, wood walls, kind of pretending it's an, an outhouse or something like that. Go ahead and throw a door in here. Let's grab our little love door like that, and then we're gonna want uh, just just you know one one little one little potty one. Not not so nice little potty in there. Um, you know, technically just grab a shovel and dig a hole, but uh, I guess that's just gonna have to have to deal for now. Now the kitchen's gonna be by far the toughest part to make look legit. Obviously they, they didn't have kitchen appliances and stuff like that back in the day. So I'm thinking we're just, let's just go with like the, the basic, the basic white that we have here. Unfortunately, because this isn't a medieval themed game, we just aren't gonna be able to get much out of it in that sense. But um, that's that's gonna be okay. So we're gonna have, uh, I guess, kind of like a a wraparound style kitchen. Do we have a corner piece? I don't think. Does this count as a corner piece? Ah, yeah, that's that's kind of a corner piece, but it's not it's not the corner piece I'm looking for. I'm looking for a corner piece that backs up into this corner that we can use. I guess we can just just take it all the way to the the edge there stove there fridge centered with the wall we could probably put another little one here and then put another you know couple little ones over here let's get it centered on the side of the fridge we could have something like that kind of like a little secondary area there do we have trash cans i don't think there are trash cans what about like a bin bin nope can Nope. It'd be nice if we had like a trash can or something to put right there. But all right, that looks pretty good. I mean, let's let's throw in some additional kitchen appliances here. They did they have coffee back then? I'm not sure. They uh, definitely didn't have toaster ovens, but we're gonna give them one anyway. We're gonna have uh, you know a, a microwave up there. At least this is raising the rents a little bit because who would actually buy this? Something like this actually might have looked a little bit better, but we don't have a matching sink. And I want things to be able to... Oh, oh, we do. Shoot. Okay. Time to change these out. Yeah, baby. This this looks good. I like this a lot right here. Okay. Now, now we're in business. This actually looks a little bit more like what you would expect. But, of course, they didn't have, you know, sinks and fridges and, and toasters and stuff. But we'll, we'll make this work. Now we're going to go with the, the you know, brown and, and black options for our accessories here. Just to blend in a little bit more. Give it that moody vibe. I love it. Work it, work it, work it. Bam. Look at that. Okay. That's already looking a lot better. I'm thinking maybe we should we should keep this wrapping all the way around. How big of a space is in between these two? Looks like it's about one and an extra. And we've also got this, this here. This is kind of interesting. We could make a, a bit of an island. I haven't seen these pieces before. I don't know if we recently unlocked these or what. But um, that's... That's kind of cool. We could even make an elongated island here. So you could place these like this. And make it more of an oval shape. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to center this because this does, does not look good right now. Is there a way that you can you can move them all at once? Can I select all of these? You can only do it one at a time. All right. I'll work on getting this centered. Yeah, dude, that looks pretty good right there. All right, now we could add some some little decorations and stuff. We could put some flower pots it's not let me put anything up on top of that can we put smaller flowers up there nice so i'm thinking we're, we're tough broody men out here we're gonna have a, a cactus yeah and then we can maybe have some nice flowers underneath the windows because those look pretty let's go with some some vases here we could put something like that there we could even we could even do three or like you know have have some other little ones around it. Yeah, something, get, get kind of like a, a little vase collection going here. Something, 
Something like that, maybe. That's that's kind of cool. Uh-oh, problem with your electricity. I'm going to send a pro in. Don't you worry about it. We have other other things. Sometimes I get so caught up in, in renovating and stuff, I don't pay attention to my tenants. It's probably a pretty bad uh, thing to do as a, a property manager. Let me get this thing moved a little bit more towards... Eh, that's the same spot, isn't it? It's kind of hard to center stuff. But yeah, that, that looks pretty good. I mean, we could have a couple other little things, you know, near the sink. Maybe some, some roses near the sink. That doesn't really look very good. A, a globe? I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't really. A ship? A ship? Can we put a ship behind the sink? I actually like the ship. The ship is something they would probably have. I'm gonna put a, a sh maybe two two ships dueling. We're gonna put two two ships like this, and then maybe a map up above it. I don't think they'd have a complete world map. They might. I guess they might have at that point in time. But um, bam. All right. That's looking pretty good. Let's take a look at this entry foyer area. I'm thinking, you know, obviously some sort of a, a hangout spot. We're gonna have some big, just established chairs here. Kind of, you know, sitting next to the fire type style. I'm thinking, can we move this over here? That might look a little bit better over there. Let's get these guys at a nice angle with each other. We can put, I know the rug that I want, the giant green one, the massive green one. We're gonna throw this guy down like, like so. Um, I mean, again, I wish we had fireplaces and stuff that we could use, but I guess we could do something like this. We could have a couple of these, maybe. They're both gonna fit. They're not both gonna fit. Maybe a nice, a nice shelf next to, to each chair here. Nice and, and brown there like that. And then we could get, you know, kind of a, a little, a little wall shelf maybe up here with some, some books on it. You know, how to, how to farm, how to raise a horse how to defeat the other empires around us something like that all right got a nice little setup there now we don't have any like you know uh, torches or anything like that i'm i'm thinking of putting this down as, as kind of like a little a little torch that we could have on each each side uh, or maybe maybe torches as you as you enter over here makes a little bit more sense i don't know we're, we're trying to work with what we have obviously this is not a medieval game, so it's it doesn't have a ton of options for us, but uh, we just have to make do with what we have. So it's looking pretty good. Last but not least, I'm thinking we just kind of want to set up the main dining hall. We've got an, an exterior dining hall out here, and I'm thinking we could uh, we could do an interior dining hall in here. So let me take a look at some of the, the tables that we have available to us for indoors. I mean, something like this looks pretty good. Something like this looks pretty good. Obviously, just, you know, big, big wooden tables. The bigger, the better trying to see out of these i'm, I'm kind of leaning towards this one um hmm we could even have some crazy fancy chairs like that or i feel like a chair like this would look even better all right so we're, we're gonna set these up we're gonna put this right smack dab in the uh in the middle here which should be right about like that and then we're gonna grab these bad boys and we're gonna set them up around the room and just like that i think we were about done Took a lot of time there to make sure everything was lined up and evenly spaced. That looks pretty good. I'm thinking, I mean, we could we could put some some flowers on each of the tables. You know, you, you can you can be big, strong, and tough, but you can enjoy a nice a nice rose on your table. Do we like that? Do we like these? I guess we, we could go we could go opposites. Welcome to the uh, the red wedding, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you're gonna survive this one. Bam! There it is. All right. Those are, uh, are all looking pretty good. Now, what do we want to go for a flooring here? Check it out, flooring. I mean, I, I like I like this. It's maybe a little bit too similar to what we have going on in the bedrooms. We've got more wood. We've got kind of a, a more modern wood style. Hmm, we could go, I, I wish we had this, but in, in red. It wouldn't look good, but we could go a little bit more elegant and brighter. We could go with the blue. Wow, see, I wish we could make one of the one of the walls blue like that. Um, it's gonna have to be some sort of a wood. I mean, that's that's not bad, kind of boring. Maybe something like that, just to be able to keep it a little bit brighter, but make it different than the bedrooms. I do kind of like what we have going on with this though, because we've got the smaller diamonds here and then the larger diamonds here. I actually, I might stick with that. It's a bit much diamond on diamond on diamond, but um. We're, we're just gonna roll with it. I did just realize that we didn't have any toilet paper in the bathroom. I mean, we're, we're you know, warriors, but we're, we're not animals. So, uh, bam, there it is. Our, uh, our medieval, moody, dark, 
you know, build here. Kind of an interesting one. Not some place I would want to live, but I feel like we made it kind of fun considering what we had available to us. I wish we had more really interesting pieces. Like if I look at some of our special pieces here, I mean, we aren't going to put a giant love sign on the wall. That's for sure. Maybe they played foosball back in the day, but I don't think so. Uh, ooh, barrels. Barrels of mead for each table. Okay. We could definitely, definitely set these up. This is, this is going to make sense. Check it outside. I mean, we, we could add some, some candles and stuff outside. To be honest, I feel like the outside is pretty solid. I like that we have eating areas out there. We've got barbecues and stuff. Maybe add a nicer grill or something or add like a fountain. I don't think they'd have a fountain back in these days though. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're pretty good with this. Is there anything else? I mean, we could have little, little jars throughout the kitchen maybe. But that might just add to the clutter. I don't think there's anything else we're going to be able to add that fits the theme. I think we're going to go, man. Let's uh, let's go ahead and leave and let's go ahead and begin our open house. We are going to go with the whole apartment on the radio. I don't, I mean, you can make more money renting rooms, but I, I don't really like dealing with numerous tenants. You get way more text messages and it just takes up more time in your day. So it uh, looks like we've got some, some bills to pay. We have not paid these in a while. Holy cow, we have so many to pay now. Let me see what else. Yep, he was reminding us about the bills. And Liberty Hudson's happy with the reno that we did. Let's see. I thought I saw this guy is just sitting outside. I mean, his outfit kind of looks pretty good considering. He, I'm assuming he's going to like the, the red wallpaper there. Let me see. Biker dude went in here. Let's follow him. Looks like he's going to be going outside. See if he has any thoughts about it. He's checking out the patio out here. They did do an update where you can now place down pavers and all kinds of stuff. Looks like everybody's going outside. These guys must be uh, must be entertainers. They want to be able to have some friends over, have some cookouts and barbecues and stuff like that. I apologize for the dirt-covered bathroom floor, but, uh, oh, he does not like the trees. Well, you're going to have to get over yourself, fam. We've got our grill master here. Wonder if you could upgrade the uh, the internet TV subscription. Ooh, he loves the grill. All right, let me do a little background check and tenant history review on you. Let's see what your your history has to say about you. No criminal record. He's a bad tenant. You know what? I want a bad man. I want a bad boy written this thing. So we're just going to go ahead and negotiate. Here we go. 120 days, 17K per month. He's going to come in at 9,700. I'm going to say... 15,000, he's gonna say 10.7. I'm gonna say 14,340, he's gonna say 11. I'm gonna take that, baby. Pleasure doing business with you. Or I guess in this day and age, you gotta do like a weird elbow bump or something like that. So, bam, look at that, fellas. Our uh, medieval dynasty, see what I did there? House is, uh, is complete. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. This place is is kind of dope. This is kind of sick. I'm actually impressed with what we did. Which bed is he going to choose? That's my question. You've got a million beds to choose from. Oh, he's in here flexing for the gram on his new purchase. All his friends are going to be so jealous of his new castle. All right. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you all later. Peace out.